Hello everybody, my name is Leo and with this video we will share a direct comparison between the Moore G250 that by the way I've reviewed in my channel and the G300 trying to answer the question is the G300 worth the extra money? The extra $250, $300 or euros? This video follows the other comparison I did about the G250 with Dr. Ampero, the G250 versus the HX Stomp, and the Boss GT1000 versus the Line 6 Helix, and the G250 versus the Edrush Jigboard. But this video has a pretty important difference. In the past videos, I was comparing units in the same price range, and typically the differences were pretty little while here we have an important price gap between the two units and the G300 obviously offers more options. So I would like to verify with you in this video if the extra features offered by the G300 are really important, are a key deciding factor and are worth the extra money required by the G300. So the arguments we will discuss together are in the demo song we have already heard the two units in action then, with the help of a comparison chart that I've done, we'll discuss the technical differences between the two units, in terms, for instance, of in-out sampling frequency and so on and so forth. So, I mean, all the technical stuff where maybe there is that extra features indispensable for you that is worth the extra money that the G300 requires. Then, we will better listen to the sound differences that you may have already heard in the demo song. You know, it would be impossible to check all the amp models uh, one against the other, so I prefer to choose just some specific options and combinations of amps, cabs and effects to verify if there are some specific differences that could address our evaluation. I went for a Taxidea Taxus A, which is a recreation of a Sir Badger 30 for the clean sound and a Marshall JCM 800 for the overdriven one, using or disabling some effects but always trying to use the same settings for both the units. I mean, same equalization, types of cab, etc. Finally, I will give you my two cents. So, a lot of interesting stuff that I cannot wait to share with you. Let's start. We will now check the differences between the two units among the following parameters. Number of amps, cabs and microphones built in, number of banks, patches and presets, number of effects, MIDI possibilities, audio input and output, number of foot switches and expression pedal, screen size and type, drum machines and looper capabilities, ADA conversion and USB channels, possibility to use third party IRs, special features, current power, dimension weight and price. First of all, we have 70 amps, 32 caps and 10 mix built in the G250, while the 300 offers 108 amps and 43 caps and 21 mix. The G300, other than having more amps, caps and mix, have two nice extra features. The first one is the possibility to combine two microphones to mic a cab, and the other one is the possibility to also have the sound of the room called Early Reflection. These are very good options that announce the value of the GE300. Furthermore, the 250 has 85 banks each of 3 patches, with a total amount of 255 patches. The 300, on the other hand, has 64 banks each of 4 patches, with a total amount of 256 presets. As regards effects, the G250 has 180 effects distributed in 11 blocks, while the G300 has 164 effects but in 15 blocks. So basically, with the G300, you can use use more effects at the same time and this is more important for me than offering more effects. The G250 has a MIDI in or a MIDI out but not both at the same time, while the G300 has a MIDI in port and a MIDI out port. As regards uh, input and output, the G250 has a mono effect loop, a stereo balance and unbalance output, the aux in and the headphone out. The G300 on the other hand has the same in and out but the external loop is in stereo and this is another great option of the G. 300. The G250 has 5 foot switches with a built-in expression 
expression pedal while the GE300 has 10 foot switches also with an expression pedal built in, both of them as an input for another external pedal. The screen of the GE300 is a little bit bigger in comparison with the one of the GE250. The GE250 has a built-in drum machine and a 70 seconds stereo looper, while the GE300 has a 30 minute looper. But the most important thing is that the GE300 looper has better controllers. For instance, you have a dedicated foot switch with which you can cancel the last loop layer, while with the GE250 you are obliged to delete the whole loop and you cannot delete only the last layer. As regards ADA conversion and USB capabilities, they both offer 44.1 kHz at 24-bit conversion and a two-channels audio interface. Here is worth noticing that the G300 has a 114 dB dynamic range while the G250 has a 100 dB of dynamic range and this basically tells us that the G300 converters are better than the one of the G250. This is a pretty important advantage of the G300 in my opinion. They both offer the possibility to load third-party IRs but the G250 has a 10 user slot while the G300 has 20 user slot so not a big difference here. As regards special features I would mention the tone capture capabilities of the G250 that is only related to amp tone capture while with the G300 you can capture not only an amp but also your guitar or a stomp pedal. Furthermore the G300 has a built-in Synth, which is really very nice. Then we have the power needs where the G250 needs 9 volts at 1000 mA while the G300 needs 3000 mA at 9 volts. As regards the weight and dimension the G250 is smaller and lighter and finally the price is lower for the G250 but you can find second hand G300 at 500-550 bucks as the G300 has been released since many months while the G250 is almost new. So finally Obviously the G300 is the bigger brother, its price is higher and it offers more features compared to the G250. In my opinion the most important differences where the G300 is better are dual mic and early reflection, this add a touch of realism to your tone, then the stereo loop offered only by the G300 is pretty important for me, as for instance I can connect the Strymo Volante in stereo. Lastly, a very important characteristic of the G300 is that it has better converters, with 114 dB of dynamic range, and this is pretty important because it has an impact in our tone.
Now, final considerations here. Is the G300 worth the extra money? First of all, let me say that one of the most important selling points for me for these type of units is their convenience over a standard rig. They are smaller, lighter and they offer a lot of options. And the G300 is not so much bigger and heavier than the G250. I mean, it offers more features compared to the G250, but it is not bulkier as for instance is the Lion 6 Helix LT. Now, for me, the most important features where the G300 is superior to the G250 are first of all, the dual mic option and the early reflection. In fact, these features enhance the realism of our tone, in my opinion. The other pretty important feature offered by the G300 that the G250 does not offer is the stereo loop. Now, I think that a lot of us have some pedals that uh, they love. In my case, I love my Strymon Volante, and the stereo loop of the G300, combined with the possibility to connect the two units via MIDI, provides us a seamless integration between the two units. That is a pretty big selling point for me. Then lastly, we have the better converters built in the G300, with its 114 dynamic range over the G250 that has 100 dB of dynamic range. Now, this results in a very tiny difference in the sound and feel, but I can hear it. Now, if you consider that you can easily get a second hand G300 at $500 or euros, where it is more difficult to find a second hand G250, it's gonna be a no brainer. For just 50 bucks more, I would definitely get the G300. At the full price, it's gonna be an hardest decision. But well, the extra features above mentioned for me are pretty important and I would spend that extra money for them. But this is totally subjective and of course you may not agree with me. If you have seen my previous video, you know that I love the G250 and I think it is a pretty solid option and I would totally happy just with it. These were my final two cents, please let me know in the comment below your opinions and if for you the G300 extra features are worth the extra money. We have now reached the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and leave a thumbs up, it would be of a great help. If you are interested in my music, you can check out a playlist of songs of mine in the description below, where there is also a link to the streaming services distributor that I typically use, that is DistroKid. If you use that link, you are gonna get a discount and I'm gonna earn some money, so you are gonna actually help the channel. So this is the end. Thank you very much for following me, see you in the next video, bye bye.